Okay, Andrew Schultz, come on down. I can't wait to see him. Bring him up, Andrew C. Schultz, who you, oh, you know, I don't want to put feelings into your heads, but you are gonna be furious with this Schultz uh, and how he's acting. One thing we hate here at Red Bar is how Andrew Schultz acts, right? Jumping around <laughs> with... I Because I'm not going to say... If I described the behavior he was doing, I can't say that I would hate that from everybody. But from him? But from him. Oh so you always got to think of it like that. It's like, that's why nobody can ever, you know, take these guys down because they're thinking of it like, oh, I hate what he does. But if I came out and said what he does sucks, people go, what are you talking about? So you really have to look at it like, yeah, you hate it because he's doing it. You know, you don't really hate what he's doing as much as you hate him and then him doing it. It's just putting you over the edge. Let's bring him on down. He's with the... Uh, but I'll care. How much? Whoa. You know, this Greg Paul, I could see more and more of this Greg Paul in Logan's eyes every day. Yes. You know, Greg Paul, please look him up. Greg Paul is actually like a deranged Did lunatic. Did you guys watch that documentary on Netflix, The Homework, that yeah. we told you about? The Jake Paul Netflix. Oh my God, here is Schultz. I don't care. You know, and he thinks that. That's freeze frame. The text at the bottom like represents what's going on. Yeah, in look his at this. This is the uh, lyrics. Of course, you got to put the. Uh, every podcast just copied every other podcast recently where they do a intro showing the funniest moments with text. So, in case you're driving and you can't be listening to it or watching it, you could read the text about their most hilarious lines. And then you got to sit through those again. It's like these movies with the trailers. The cringiest part of going to the movie is sitting there in that audience and you go, oh, here it comes. And then the cast member, the person in the movie starts doing what you saw already in the trailer. I go like this in the theater. I can't look at the other people in the theater. I get so embarrassed. And they all laugh as if it's the first fucking time that they've heard this. I go, it's from the trailer. We're all sick of the trailer. The trailer is cringe. Uh, so, yeah, it's like that. Um, these podcast highlights, they really sicken the mood for when the actual, when it happens. You know, how about cut it out of when it actually happened, then put it at the beginning. And circle back to it or something like that. But to having to watch what you think is your funniest moments twice on these things, it's repulsive. And re uh, why I really stopped it here is this hairdo. There's a lot of places I'll go. I understand a lot of things going on. He's not going to. He's not going to get away with this haircut. Like, and I think people, the, they let him get away with this haircut because they're not sure. Like if in five years, maybe Schultz knows this is going to be the coolest haircut. It can't be. It's psychotically creepy and queer. It's always been looked at as the que queerest, creepiest look you can do. And then paired with the jet black ink mustache. I mean, there couldn't be anything more, um, more abrasive to do to yourself. And then you go, what is a guy like you doing this to himself for? Why? Are you trying to scare people out there? Think you're part of some secret society, KKSS? It's sick. It's uh, a psychotic haircut. I mean, in the back here, you can't tell me this looks... I mean, that's uh, Oliver Tree. You know, don't get so used to Oliver Tree seeing him all the time that you think this is normal here. That's sick. Oh, God, and with the part here, it's disgusting. It's disgusting, and we're not going to let him. I know it's... I just feel like people are too embarrassed to say that it sucks because it so basically sucks. It's he needs to hear through, that more. But you okay. still have to say it. We want to go to 120, That's right? Are we going to start there or do we start yeah. with this intro? Or? No, you can start okay, at 120. Okay, 120. Get ready to get mad. Get ready. Here it comes. Ooh, there he is. Ooh, and you see, he looks like he's on the stand there, right? Because that's where he should be. He's starting to look like these cartoons they make of him, huh? 
Yes. Logan Paul is starting to turn into a cartoon Pokemon version of Logan Paul. Oh, he never meant to get into this much trouble, did he? Mm. That's that Greg Paul. Greg Paul too stupid to not get in this much trouble. All right, let's hear. This is going to make you mad. In the building. So, Logan, uh, how has life been at home the last few weeks? <laughs> yes, he had already. The volume is crazy. Here, I want to back that up just a little bit. Andrew Schultz is out of control in this episode. He's hopped up on something. It could be Prime. He could have had too many Primes hanging out and laughing about Prime. Because I've never seen him go this far. Now, is Akash here on this episode? He's not. He's not here. So I think he's almost, you know, doubling his energy to make up for Akash not being there. Because it seems like this is like if you multiplied him and Akash times 10 today. Um, we have uh, Logan Paul in the oh, building. these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Logan Paul is in the building. So, Logan, uh, how has life been at home the last few weeks? Like, <laughs> <laughs> can you talk to us? Uh, What's the home life been? It's great. How yeah. have the FaceTimes with Nina been over the last three weeks? Okay, this is also important because they're talking about everybody wanted to know, right? This came out how many days ago? A week ago? This came out... Oh, 10 days ago. 10 days ago. So this 10 days ago, and everybody knows the story, Dylan Denise, who I'm not sure I'm backing anymore <laughs> with all his lies. Uh, Dylan Denise has been, uh, you know, targeting Nina. 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 Dude, I got a Nina. <laughs> I'm becoming Mary. <laughs> Everything gonna change. And people will give him more respect for this, too. That's the big trick of marriage I just learned. Who did I learn that from? Um, if you get married, you're more trustworthy towards other people. Who did we hear that from? Michael Knowles? <laughs> I think it was Michael Knowles. <laughs> That's good advice, Michael. Good advice. If you want to be probably 25% more trustworthy. You know, like I always say to Jules, we're walking around. It's me, Jules, and a small dog. The cops ain't looking at me no more. I'm part of a, the safest group of people walking around is us. We're a nice family. I can't believe I am in the top 1% of trustworthies. All need so is imagine this. You're walking down a street. You got all types of people on the street. A single old man, a single old lady, a crummy homeless person, a crazy black guy, a group of Chinese people. And then you've got white, me, jewels in a dog in sweatpants nobody's looking at us like we're gonna cause any trouble i mean we're getting skimmed over that's pretty cool i never really because just me alone throughout my life i'm not skimmed over people you're causing are, trouble people are watching but nobody is watching me anymore because i've got this blonde girl and a dog that's how inspector gadget must have gotten away with it <laughs> So it is pretty cool, and what I hate that Logan's going to get married in three years, people subconsciously are going to look at him as a little bit I more mean, trustworthy because he's married. This is like a guy saying, they'll be out in one, but do you think that they're actually going to get married? Well, I really hope something bad. I mean, the way this thing is going, this is pretty exciting because right now what's happening if is... If I was Nina, I wouldn't be so super stoked to marry Logan anymore. Just saying, he hasn't really been sticking up for me well, or doing anything even for worse, me. even worse. Wait till you see. You know, this is... Um, so, Dylan Dennis has been posting the Nina pics as his plan of attack to troll Logan, right? A pick a day of Nina. Everybody's heard of it by now. Um, and... Logan has been on podcasts just like the one we're about to watch. He's been going around. He's responded to it. Everybody was so shocked, remember? Everybody, the whole world's like, I can't believe it. Logan's going to kill himself because she was photographed with an ex-boyfriend. The worst thing you could ever do in our minds <laughs> is to have an ex-boyfriend. That's a new thing. That uh, that's like the worst thing a girl could do is if they have any remaining photographs of them in a relationship prior Beware. to the new guy. And 
But yes, to use that as a joke, great. it's so great because, yeah, to use that as a joke against something is a legitimate thing. That's a legitimate thing to troll somebody with, to be like, I hate this guy so much. And look, I have hundreds of pictures of his wife with other guys. This is awesome to show to Logan because it'll get in his mind. He'll think, am I just one of the hundred? I kind of thought it was a joke about how simple minded and jealous that Logan that is. Logan was. Yeah. So, yeah, it's great in that sense and should be used for those purposes. But then people got confused <laughs> because Logan was taking an L. So they attributed that L to girls having ex-boyfriends and photos of it is the crazy thing. <laughs> Not that, no, we're using these pictures to make Logan explode because he's such a jealous... Jackass. Jackass. Get it? They didn't understand the prank, and when they saw thousands of people going, oh man, this is going to kill Logan, they thought it meant because she was with another guy before him. They took that part of it as, you see? And that's now bleeding over to the part of people who didn't think that way. And now they're turning into thinking that way. Ask Adam 22. He's on the research. That's what he did this for was to prove a point. And he did, you know, not that I, and people are going to go, Oh, what reason does Mike have to say that? You know, is he, Nope. Had nothing to do with me. I think that shit's sick. I'm on the side of all those guys who think it's crazy. I'm just saying that's a crazy thing that's happening now is now that that's considered. But anyway, Logan's been running all over town. Finally, we hear from him, right? And we're all wondering, oh, is he going to go nuts because he's jealous and crazy? Not because of what she did was wrong, right? That's why we were cheering it on. And then Logan goes on these podcasts and he seemingly makes it out like... He he doesn't great. give a shit. He understands. And in this interview, he sits to Andrew Schultz and he's like, nah, man, all that shit, that just comes part of the game, man. Bro, do you think I do not know that I get trolled, Nina? Dude. And then, okay, so what Dylan's doing doesn't really affect you or Nina. It's, uh, he's doing what you'll see. He's going to say all that. So pay attention to that because yesterday... Nina filed a restraining order against Dylan Dennis. We got to have this hooked up to the bomb sound effect. And when I go like this, yes. it goes. Oppenheimer. Instead of me hitting this, I just go. Okay. You know, like here, wait, let's just time it out to see if it would look cool. Look at that. See, that would be, imagine every time it, the bomb sound effect went off, it also blew something up like. <laughs> that's going to look like a blow up. Here, let me try one more time. One, two. Okay. Simulated blow up. Case closed. How about a graph? Let's try to get some. Can somebody build us some more technology? That we're we only not using this. We, we I don't know need, how to work any of it. We have a bomb idea that we need like a graphic <laughs> artist video editor guy to make. Yeah, like some cool, like, wouldn't it be cool if, if all the windows? Yeah, like every time I did the bomb out. sound effect, like a window went, <laughs> you know, with some fire. Just just one window. In the background. Back yeah. Back. And then every time I do it, a little bomb in the city blows off or somebody, you see somebody's head fly off or a car fly out, <laughs> you know, some cute like that. We need programmers we're looking to hire some people here to beef up the, all we have right now is this pick of tokyo gag. so that's what you have to work with. also i don't <laughs> work well with others you have to figure this all out on your own and then deliver it to me without any back and forth communication and it has to work seeming seamlessly with our setup and somehow get mad if we get busy doing something else because we both have yep. adhd and, and we don't have time to, like to work weeks, but with then we remember and we you. still love it yeah we still love all these ideas we just don't have time to sit with you directly and do the whole idea ourselves so and it has to be top just be easy quality on us, okay it has to be big <laughs> and then we'll uh apply the idea if it's really this is uh this smoke machine while pretty professional 
I want something more professional. Okay. Real pyrotechnics and stuff like that. You know, that's the dream. Thank you. All right. Uh, flagrant two. get ready to get mad because Nina has filed a restraining order. Yes. Against Logan Paul. I mean, against, uh, against <laughs> Dylan Dennis. <laughs> Uh, but Logan's here the whole time saying that they're not bothered by it, that it's expected, that he could keep doing it, allowing him to do it, basically saying it was all okay. What is the story so here with Nina? She says, says to me is that Logan is in denial about how much it's bothering her. And it's just, well, like, of course, we'll get into that later, but okay, well, well, let's hear what he says first. But oh, show the article. Well, again. yeah, the big news is that. Logan's going around town, pretending all this trolling is just trolling, and they're doing it for the fight, and that it's what he wants. Here we go. Nina Agdal shoes Dylan Danish over Paul fight trolling. Files for restraining order. So Logan knew all this was happening, but is going around town saying they're both fine with it, and that we're strong, and we could take it. Isn't that something? I hope uh, Dylan is wise enough to put those two very obvious things together. I don't hear anybody mentioning that part of it, that Logan's been going around telling everybody that he's been fine with the trolling. Um, I don't think he watches anything. Yeah, well, she's filed uh, claiming that Dylan has posted despicable things about her more than 250 times since his fight with Paul was announced. So she's counting. I mean, this is a big deal. You don't file a restraining order unless you're, you know, it's the worst thing that has ever happened to you. You know, I haven't filed my restraining order against Sam Tripoli yet. <laughs> You know how bad things must be to file? So Logan's going around saying they don't care, but the real story is, so you're telling me every picture that was posted, that was like the worst thing that could have happened. So Dylan's trolling was epic in that regard. We almost need to revisit each time he posted because now we know that it hit this hard. You know, it kind of means nothing if Logan's like, do I guess there's one I didn't picture care about in that. particular that she yeah. is mentioning that would count as revenge porn. And she I wants guess. 150K per image, which is fine if you just went that route. But Logan is on this show saying they don't care. He should have just came out and be like, dude, Nina is pissed. She had violated, and I've got her back. I mean, people, and we're probably, suing this scumbag. If he really stuck up for her, I, people would probably be on his side. Like, not everybody. He didn't stick up for her at all. I mean, wait till you see. He throws her under the bus. You're so Nina, her get dragged all over Twitter, and you're not doing shit, and she's still gonna marry so that, you. I don't think so. <laughs> well, my only point here is that this means all of this is way bigger than we thought it was. When somebody's suing and filing a restraining order. Okay, this is real drama. It's not just, uh, we're not just hoping anymore. We've got our answer. This is as bad as it gets for Logan. So Logan is in hell and Nina is in hell. But this is how he's going to act. And then he's going to act like this. So this is the real story. Why is Logan Paul going around the internet? Dylan Dennis, that should be your main defense. What? He told me to do this. Here. You know, that should be your main defense to get out of this because you don't have 150K per image. <laughs> you don't have even, you know, I, I doubt you have more than $20,000 to your name. Okay, let's see what happens here. And so we've got two things going on at once. You've got that. So we're watching Logan lie to Andrew Schultz's face coming up. And that's what I want you to tell Andrew. Let's go. I can't believe Logan lied to your face saying he was cool with Dennis. Meanwhile, they were filing a, a restraining order in a lawsuit. What does it make you feel that Logan lied to your face? Uh, do you think that, is that the same face he made when he told you that he wasn't guilty for crypto zoo, the crypto scam? He Did he do that same ask. face? Because now you got to go back, Andrew Schultz. You can't just love Logan Paul. Now you got to go, well, here's proof Logan lied to my face about the Nina thing. So what else has Logan lied about? Maybe he is the scammer everybody's been saying he is. You know, uh, the CoffeeZilla documentaries, nobody's saying that those are fake. You know, uh, like millions and millions of people are saying this is legit. It's been fact-checked. So Schultz has got to uh, draw the line. I would like to push Schultz to that line today, and I think you'll want to help me after you see his behavior. Um, 
because he's high on sugar today. Well, we're Who's always together, so it's just it? it's yeah. real life, face to face time. Oh, that's that's fire, dude. Come on, bro. That's my fiance. Mm. That's Andrew, the Andrew, Andrew the last about. time I was on your show. And by the way, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, I, I, lo- I love you guys. Welcome it's always Look at Andrew. Kicking with the boys. Look at You're doing great. Thanks. Okay, so he's starting to grab him already. Andrew couldn't sit still. He's opening the show. This is Andrew. What can I grab? What can I bother on you? You know, very similar how we saw poor Shane Gillis get attacked by NFL superstar Taylor Lewan. Poor sweet Shane. This is grabby. Schultz is being, and I don't know, we're going to investigate together what, where this comes from, what he's trying to pull. Schultz, here's the beginning, and here's Logan. Logan does not want to be grabbed. He doesn't want his tits grabbed. He doesn't want to be pushed around unexpectedly. Logan is sitting there scared out of his mind, having to do the acting of his life to lie about every question they ask him. He can't be thrown up by guys tackling him and touching him and joking around. He's on trial, basically, as many men are when they agreed to be interviewed on these talk shows. You put yourself on trial for everyone to see. It's insane. So here he is on trial again, here to squash the rumors and talk about all these horrible things that circle him daily. I don't know why he would want to be on here, but he is. And the last thing he wants is this guy monkeying all over him. And it gets bad. So this was just one of the first instances. Let's look at that again. Oh, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, I, I, lo- I love you guys. Welcome it's always back. a good time great kicking out with the too. boys. You're doing great. Thanks. Oh, grabbing his uh, mic, yeah, bro, grabbing his tits. A- I was grabbing engaged. his arm. I'm engaged. Yo, you are, dude. I'm fucking engaged. Grabbing, look, he's grabbing him everywhere. Logan doesn't play like this. How do you not know this about Logan Paul? You should be able to see that a mile away. Him and Jake, you don't tickle them and play with them. That's what Greg Paul That's did what to Greg them right Paul did he started that. hitting them. And Logan doesn't know what to do, so he's actually being cucked and baited around by shoals. You know how people say that? It's Schultz with a T. Um, these no, two good. By the now. way, I got a question here. These two guys. And by the way, they couldn't be stupid. I'm not going to even get it. I'm going to spare them because they're too stupid to even understand. This would drive them too nuts to be picked apart they and it would be at least made logan admit that he's not the better box uh... sure there was that <laughs> but look, these guys we haven't given these guys enough attention you got the long-haired guy who should be working at barstool sports this is a barstool employee not an andrew schultz employee so that's problem number one then you got this guy what kind of black person are you because i can't pin it down <laughs> Uh, makes it even harder because w- your relationship to Schultz, who I'm guessing is your sugar mama, sugar daddy, daddy. I don't know because you have to really change your actual personality a lot to be around this group. So I feel like we haven't gotten a chance to really meet the real you. And I feel like you are selling out to the white man. Yeah. Okay, by changing your behaviors, not letting us know the real you, not being your real self yet. (laughs) And the parts of you that I've seen that do come out are shocking and egregious. You do say some stuff where it's go, oh, I didn't see him having that type of you have like a real nasty attitude towards life. Really? You're a very negative guy in the way that you think. And it's, it makes me scared of you. Okay? It's off-putting. And you too. As if you guys, if this is a shell corporation, you guys make me real worried. <laughs> you know, the way you guys act and what you allow to happen right in front of your very eyes, you never flinch. You never go, so why is, you know... I don't know if it's because you're on Sunday's tequila. But look at this. Logan does not want to be fucking touched. Minute one of the podcast. But Andrew is going to do it anyway. You guys, yeah, I, I, lo- I love you guys. Welcome it's always back. a good time kicking out with the boys. You're doing great. Thanks. Look at them. Uh, yeah, bro, I wasn't a... Uh... 
I was Todd. engaged. Now I'm engaged. Yo, you I'm are, dude. Todd. I'm fucking engaged. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting a gay in engaged. Stop touching him. Stop touching him. That's clear as day. Yeah, Logan said no. This means no. And you went back in twice even harder as if you fell to your animalistic behaviors. Look at this. This is the part what are you, like, that's bothering me. Logan, who's you're, you're, you're throwing him around. You're shaking a man. You don't shake a man. You're shaking a man. The guy's saying stop as politely as he can being on your show for one minute. Then when he does that, you go, oh, yeah, mm. Mm. what are you hopped up on, Schultz? What's making you do this? Do you treat your wife? Because you, you say you have no prenup. I don't know if that's such a good idea well, now with you. Chases because her. I will make sure if you guys break up due to cheating, I'll be in communication with that ex-wife, making sure she takes. Because I think you go, dude, she would just never do this. She don't even have the time, bro. We will make the time. We will make sure she gets every penny owed to her. We remember when you made your ex and all change you gotta your do, outfit. Yeah, and all you got to do, any woman that breaks up with a guy that's rich, it takes like five minutes I mean, it's of filling deserve. their mind with making that kind of money. And you could turn any of them. So she's probably made an agreement with Schultz. We don't need a prenup, baby. And If we broke up, I'd get it and I wouldn't be that person. But then it's like you break up, oh, you can get... 4.6 million? Mm. I mean, it's half her money. So She's we will make sure. And I, it won't even be me. Out. Listen, I can't be a part of that. You know, I, when I say we will help your wife to take everything you have, I will assign something like that to the clients or a person like that who really can get down and dirty with something like that. So you're not off the hook. I hope you were just joking about that. All right, he's touching... He's grabbing. He almost makes Logan. You almost want to take Logan's side here, but never, never do that. Logan has gone too far. It's been proven now, you know, to get you up to date. When we first started covering Logan, it was predictive covering. It is now proven factual uh, stuff that he, he's one of the evil ones, right? We've yes. got proof. Okay. Never feel for him. Never let him trick you again. He's not, you know, because he'll do that next year. If he's doing the right thing that you want him to do, you'll go, he's actually pretty cool. Nope. He's not. Uh, yeah, bro, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't engaged. Now I'm engaged. Grabbing no, you are, dude. I'm fucking engaged. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting a gay in it. What are you doing? Grabbing harder. These, bro. Wait, they didn't. Dude. Oh, oh, oh. And then the other guy. Oh, oh. Then this other animal reaches in. I'll take some if it's allowed. I'll take some if Master gets some and it's allowed. And what psychotic long hair? If I was Logan and that long haired guy put his hands on me, they might have met for two milliseconds once. He doesn't know him. <laughs> He's there for his first interview after being attacked for 250 days by Dylan Dennis. And this is what you do to him. You're piling on, you're grabbing, you're ripping from his clothes. So, okay. Oh! Okay. Okay. Schultz, okay. Schultz had to go even further. Schultz couldn't contain himself. You punched him. Do you see this? <laughs> Look at this. So it went from grabbing, and he's furious that Logan is even re trying to resist. And then when he couldn't get it, he goes, oh, I got this energy. Oh, watch. Look at this. So now I'm engaged. Yo, you are, dude. I'm fucking engaged. What are you doing? Watch the pudge. I, I didn't what remember that. What are you bro, doing? Dude, <laughs> dude you he got D's, bro. Wait, did he? Dude. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Watch that slap. Oh. Why? He slapped him, too, pretty hard. Two times. And then went, mm. What is this behavior? From Schultz? He likes guys' arms. But what's this behavior about? Like... Is he trying to do a thing where he's friends with Logan Paul, but does this stuff to show the other side that he's not like his bitch? Is he doing this to alpha Logan he Paul? He can't ask him about crypto zoo because Logan probably told him not to. So he has to show that he he's thinks the if bigger he's, guy yeah, like rubbing him up. You're slapping him around like... Acting you're, like one of those gorillas. You're from being the show. like an <laughs> uncle after they found out, you know, their nephew got suspended, and then you see them 
the next week and they're like, why'd you get kicked yes, out Yes, they're like that cousin you... that you have when you yeah. have your boyfriend and you bring him over and your cousin is like, oh, hey, who's this fucking guy? Yeah, because, so you've got this situation where Andrew Schultz is friends and supports Logan Paul, which is, to the people who know what Logan Paul's done, it's crazy. It's like, you could stay out of it. You don't have to say your piece, but to be even more friends with him now Logan than ever. Logan stock is down right now. No, And really it really him. goes, and it really does say something about it. It's like, what he did, you shouldn't want to be friends of, and he hasn't admitted to doing it, and he's lying and trying to cover it up daily. And lying to you. It's one thing if he did something wrong, and he's like, admitted it, and hasn't lied to you, but he's lying to you now. So for you to be friends with him and promote him, you know, especially imagine the shithead audience that this guy's got. And now he's saying Logan is good. People trust Andrew Schultz, these kids. And now he's saying Logan is good. So, well, I guess Logan's crimes are erased. He's back. The chat says, I dare Schultz to do this to Rogan. He would never <laughs> imagine. I was just thinking about that the other day. What was it that I thought of if somebody did to Rogan that would be incredible? Or was it if Rogan acted a certain way and started doing something incredible? I don't know. I have a lot of little fantasies about Joe Rogan is pretty straightforward. <laughs> so to veer off from what he would normally do. It's a wild is very funny. Game. <laughs> like imagine Joe doing something that he's never done before. It's always funny every time. Okay, let's go back to Schultz. He's doing something and I want to get to the bottom of why it's being done. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting the what gay are you, in the game. Right dude, doing? he got D's, bro. Wait, did he? Dude. Oh, 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 I'm a gay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. okay. What? Okay. Sorry about it. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? <laughs> what's funny? Oh. <laughs> I'm a gay. Stop. That's an insane amount of energy. He should be burnt out and tired already. In boxing, they would call that gazed. You should be gazzed by now. You've already done five minutes of the most energetic thing a person's body could do. And I know the feel like Logan's acting like he's cool with this. No. And he's just having voice time. But the position and the he had to like, I can feel the feeling he's feeling right now. Bro, I'm Where being picked was- on again, bro. Bro, I'm not going to let them clown me this time, bro. I've grown out of this. <laughs> Damn it. I'm back in the junkyard. Like, you uh, watch some but, YouTube video of this dumb bitch getting a facial massage from her makeup artist. And I was, like, crawling out of my skin thinking about uh, some guy man rubbing massaging your, your face. face and, and, like, giving my whole body the shivers. Yeah. And that's what I feel watching them grab. Yeah, it's really watching people grab. As you get older, you'll notice this. You don't want to be grabbed anywhere. And the fact that f- uh, three people would surround somebody. And... Here's, I think, why I originally brought up these two. You know, of course, you know, the bebop and rock steady. It's, you know, if they're so low, they're bad news. Together, they're worse news. I just noticed, look, they're bigger than Logan Paul, who I thought was bigger than Thor. You know, if you, some of these images of Logan Paul, you go, oh, he's taller than Thor. <laughs> He's like six nine, uh, four feet wide. But then two guys are kind of bigger than him. Both of these guys. How big are these guys? Is my question. Scary. That's too big to be a uh, a show, right? You can't. They can't be that big. Okay, uh, back to the episode here. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what's funny? Wait, you got married? Yeah. Bro! Come on, bro. Grab him again. Assault our come guest. On, you can't assault him. Yo, I'm pulling, yeah, I'm pulling and grabbing. Bobby Lee, you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Kick me off my own podcast. <laughs> so you have to tell the perfect joke to get him off. Wow. Bro, stop. No, no. You're acting like Bobby Lee. Ha! And then he releases. You got to get him to laugh to release. That's his Keep weakness. that in mind. So if Andrew Schultz ever comes after me, we just have to kill him with some of the finest jokes he's ever heard. So we should start writing some panderment for it's that okay. day. That's how you swift material. So that's how you now. get out of it. And look, bro, I could only let you grab me so many times. 
Bro, I am boxer Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> and Schultz is just showing that he could push <laughs> Logan around. And, and I mean, with this Adolf <laughs> Hitler. insatiable. I mean, he's wearing the military jacket. He's got Adolf Hitler's exact haircut. He's grabbing and he's pushing with his face the same amount that Hitler would push. It's, I mean, I don't know what's going on with him. Bobby Lee, you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Release. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. okay, go, 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 go. When you got married. Yeah. She had whipped his leg up there. Just a wave in the studio of air. That was, the, I mean, that was the fastest get your leg up on your lap I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> I mean, it was fast. It's pretty fast. You got married. Yeah. I was dogging on you. Why? I was dogging Whoa. on you. No, to you. To you. Yeah. yeah I don't know yeah. if you remember this. I he was like, Andrew. He was going to attack. Yo, yeah. best of yeah. luck with that married life. Yeah. Fucking dweeb. Yeah. And you're like, you know, if you find the right woman, it doesn't seem so bad. Okay. I hope nobody is pushing their bangs through their hat like that. I've been meaning to talk about this. People are thinking, like, I even see people wear, like, a front forward hat, and then their bangs are sticking out. Pull your bang. I don't want to see any bang for any style. Please. It looks cool. This looks like a little boy from a cute advertisement. From a toys, kids' toy ad. Why doesn't Logan would have his surgery hair? already if he's so worried? I don't know what he's so worried about, but this doesn't look better when you have little locks coming out. And, and they Jake. do it so much now, they're almost on the verge of normalizing this look. That's why I'm putting out the alert to remind people this, this idea was never okay. Don't do that. You're not a little, you're not little Ricky. That reminds me of when uh, Rick Glassman was being... <laughs> Pet by his grandma, the old little Ricky, such a little boy. You want to be a little boy like little Ricky? That's little Ricky does that. His curls come out of his hair. Straighten your curls or shave them off. It's fucking gay. You can't have, this is as curly as I'll allow a man's hair to get. Any curlier than this is a woman's perm and you're trans. <laughs> All right, do I keep playing from here? Oh, uh, yeah, move? you can play from here. Okay, a keep longer. watching. This gets crazy tonight. Mm. And I remember thinking, this guy doesn't know anything. Yeah. Andrew was right. I was fucking right. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. right. It's Until fucking... Dylan Dennis entered the chat. And... Yeah! Come on! <laughs> and then the last... <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Okay. Is it, has, it, has it been stressful at all? Uh, Here's a better question. Did you see any meme and you laughed a little and then you're like, wait a minute, I can't laugh. Uh, I can't you know, laugh. you're giving Logan so many opportunities to rethink his lie. You asked him the question, and then you interrupted him answering, which could have been the most honest version of the answer. You interrupted that to ask him the question again, and then once he started trying to answer, you interrupted him again a third time. Meanwhile, now he's had three times to rethink his answer. That's not how you interview people. You ask them a question, and then you put them on the spot quickly. You ask the question right as you finish it, because then they don't have time to think. That's where you want them, not thinking. Especially when they're under this line of questioning, does the Dylan Danis stuff affect you? Did you see any meme and you laughed a little and then you're like, wait a minute, I can't laugh. Uh, I can laugh, I can laugh. <laughs> really? Can yeah. laugh. Do the both oh, of you I laugh can... at one? Yeah. Is, which so one? yeah. So... I could laugh. Your honor, I could laugh, I could laugh. Did the both of you laugh at once? Yes. So... Write that down. Dylan Dennis, write these in order. He first said that he laughs at it. He could laugh it off. And that Nina could laugh it off. Let's hear what else he says. Oh, they were really funny. Can I, can I They're really, the really one? funny. Which one? The turkey one is the funniest. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, the turkey one is the I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. They're all, they're all good. They're, they're all, all good. <laughs> hey, Your Honor, uh, he actually said they're all good and really funny <laughs> and that they like them. There's no way he said that. Bring, bring that up here to my core. Let me see this shit. Wow, Logan, you were sent to the crypto zoo scam. I mean, I know no one wants to hear what a girl has to say, but if someone was doing this to me and then you went on a podcast and we're like, dude, it's funny, actually. I'd yeah. Like, oh, thanks. And Nina, by the way, is thanks shivering so much, from it being so horrible. Dude, asking the court for a restraining order 
is no joke. And if you're sitting at home laughing about it and just getting a restraining order to fuck over a guy, they get mad at you for that. So if Nina is, in fact, like you're saying, where they don't care, ha, 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 it's all fun and games, well, she's filing a restraining order against a man, which is a giant problem for that man. If there, if somebody is found guilty, uh, guilty and gets a restraining order against them, their life gets very limited. It's pretty bad to have on your record. And you record. saw the Butch Bradley versus Melton trial. The judge don't like that. The judge don't like that. The Butch Bradley Melton trial judge. I learned most about law from that trial. That shit banged. Melton's, uh, only 300 people have seen this. It's so good. Seek that out. Melton on trial. It exists. It's a video I th I wished up years ago. Wouldn't it be great to see Melton on trial? Well, guess what? That video is here. It's out there. Google it. Watch that after Red Bar tonight. So... Okay, so it's either one of two ways. Either Nina is so mortified that she needs a restraining order, which is a big deal, and 150 k per instance of damage. Her career is damaged. Her life is damaged, just like they say in the suit. Well, if it's that, why are you saying that you both don't care and that it's funny and that you love it? And you, you're going to say way more. Listen to this. To this. Oh, good. <laughs> the guy is fucking so good at Twitter. It, so it good is, at Twitter. It is. Yeah, it's it, impressive. No, it's top tier trolling. Yeah. yeah. Which is top tier Which is why I chose him as an opponent. Which is why know? I you chose know him. going to go this hard. No, 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 yeah. no. I, I had no idea. Um, I had no idea, but I gave it a year. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you gave it 10 days and it went from it's hilarious to this is out of line and we need to be 100 feet from you at all times. That's what I think a restraining order is. You have to get to that barrier and be in that barrier every day. So if like you can't be within 100 yards of them, then you have to be at yard 101 at all times. And if you go further, you're also in trouble. I want you restrained right in the order. Let's keep this in order here. Okay. So uh, I just found that interesting. In uh, Dylan Dennis, that should be your first thing that you use to get out of this because it looks like he's in a lot of trouble. You know, he's never going to win. Well, maybe he would just win. Right? I don't know. I don't know what he posted that they say is the illegal one. There was one out of the 250. There might not be one. She might be setting him up. I mean, this is the Pauls, man. The Pauls do big, giant public scams. But, I mean, we got people interested, right? At the end of the got day, got people it's all fight interested. Promo. Is there a At the end of the day, it's all fight promo. Bit of jealousy from from Tommy and KSI. I don't. I don't. John was jealous. John was John fucking. Fury, who I hate. I was screaming at the TV when Logan says this. You know, he's furious. Yeah, he started kicking tables over. Yeah, which he, was awesome. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah, yeah. Nope, like no. out of Shrek. <laughs> Bro, he's Game of Thrones, isn't he? He is. <laughs> he is. The Furies are the best family. <laughs> like, what? Okay. <laughs> Did you read that on Twitter with a Game of Thrones picture above it? Did you read that on Twitter? Weird Al. That's what we're calling him. He's got the same, not the same face, but the curls here. Very Al. Okay, let's see. Uh, what were they? They were right in the middle of, oh yeah, saying that it was all good, that they love it. Oh, no, no, no. John Fury. This drove me nuts. <laughs> okay. All right, this far. All right. Yeah, the John Fury is a legend of the whole press. That's now. where I was screaming. He's not a legend. That's the guy who flipped the table because he didn't want the whole press conference to be them slinging insults at each other. He wanted it to be uh, boxing. Well, it's not. It's not up to you. And he ruined the press conference. Not a legend. Conference was crazy. I you know, Dylan hates me. I don't give a fuck about him. I think he's an excellent troll. I think he's, I think he's very parasitic. I don't give a fuck about him. Which is him. why I'm honored that I get to be the one to like take him out and mm. embarrass him. That's why honored. I took the fight. I was like, okay, I know this guy's going to promote the fuck out of it. People are going to be interested because if he shows up, I get to be the one. And that, that excites me. And you have no question what will happen if he shows up. Nah, I don't. In fact, can I get a drink? Whoa. Yes, you can have a drink, my boy. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Whoa, the fool sip. The fool's ask. He needs that drink. I never thought of what if they don't have a drink? What do they do? Well, they ask for one. Why do you need a drink? So you can take a full sip? What's this drink for? Drink. 
<laughs> yes, you can have a drink, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're we drinking. didn't think you were drinking. We're drinking while you're training. Why doesn't he have the prime bottle? Whoa. This is the first time he's never had a prime bottle. I mean, really, we've been tracking this. What's he trying to prove? What's he trying to say by not having the prime? He got embarrassed now. So did he get embarrassed when Jay's like, dude, he brought the prime bottle into my boxing match that was run by Celsius. Very interesting. What if Logan got uh, ashamed and now when he carries the bottle, he's like, oh, everyone thinks I'm just this asshole fucking bottle guy. I hope that really happened. I hope there's no more bottle. That would be great. But now he's thirsty. So, you know, it didn't really work out for him here. No, nah, typically not, but come, it's still a Dennis, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, yeah, okay, okay. About? okay. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> listen. You got to back, you gotta back you up all this talk, bro. Logan is really afraid of these two guys. <laughs> he doesn't know, like, how to handle them. He doesn't know if he should, like, bark at them a little bit, be their best friend, you know, laugh at everything they say. He's scared to death of these guys. And you should be. I'd be scared to death of them. They got nothing to lose, nothing to know, nothing going on up there. But they'll ask you the meanest questions of your life. They'll make you feel so stupid about yourself. These guys are good. They should set up a little stand. Make you feel stupid. $8. They could do it they in seconds. They would make me feel stupid. Yeah, they're really. You and Logan it. knows it. Logan does not know how because he's got a he's got Andrew Schultz here, which is a big thing to take care of. And then right behind his back, he's got two other guys who could. So he's his head's on a swivel, isn't that what they say? When so watch this. You know you're in New York, bro. Yeah. You might get the gap pulled up on you again, bro. Yeah, he said he said I he he said that last time I was here. You said it. What? You said Whoa. that when you were on the pod, you were like, yo, Mike got the got the pistola pulled on yeah, him. Yeah, but then he started telling people that I had to like check in when I came to New York. So what's up? After this, I'm gonna wait outside for an hour. I'm gonna give him my address. I'll see if he pulls up. Oh. Well, don't give him ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. 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 I was gonna do it. I was literally gonna do it outside. I was gonna do it outside. Yeah. I mean, if you are, that's the thing. Yeah, listen, let so me Yeah, think. this was we're like, oh, okay, Logan's finally fighting back for the first time. You know, he was like silent, right? For a month. Letting all this happen. Do we have another time? Uh, you could going? go to five forty for another weird Schultz move. Yeah, that's unexplainable. This. Okay, that's coming up here. Five forty. Let's watch Schultz's movements here. If I like this or not, <laughs> let me just think. If I like this or not, I don't. I hmm. He's not gonna come up here beat up Schultz by default. Like, <laughs> no, I'm not worried about getting he beat might. up. I'm more worried about a shooting happening. You know. <laughs> I yep. feel like the gun consequences like in New York are pretty serious. They are pretty serious. Oh. <laughs> Logan was doing this as they're talking about the shooting of Logan Paul. So Logan is in New York where Dylan Dennis just got done saying that two goons were going to shoot Logan in the back of the head because he came on their territory, New York. You know, there's like 10 million guys in New York who think it's their New York. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> The mobsters like to pretend. The gangsters have the biggest imaginations of us all. Really, New York belongs to the turtles, duh. TMNT. Oh, ever since I saw that Turtles movie, I'm obsessed. She's obsessed with the fucking turtles. I never understood the turtles. She thought now. the turtles were mean before this I mean, movie. Anyone else? Well, this new movie's pissing off a lot of kumias. Um, are you kidding? Jigaboo April? Now, this April is what the old This April, April sucks. We went back and watched the old Turtles. April has triple Ds. <laughs> the old April is like a whore. I never imagined. I remember she was slender. April O'Neil from the Turtles yellow jumpsuit. We go back to watch Ninja Turtles cartoon episode one to see if it holds up to the new cartoon movie. It didn't. She's like a predator. April has tits. They're this big. They're amazingly. The they're as, April as is big as I'll allow. Any bigger than that would be crazy. They drew them right to the line. And, you know, she's wearing this jumpsuit. And then they cut to the new turtles. It's a black person this tall. The squished April, down like a least, turtle. She's in high school with the turtles. They're normal friends. I don't the want old that. April is like a predator. Why no. does she need to be friends with a bunch of teens? Well, this is what bothers me about your little game that you play. Evolutions. Horizon. 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 Forbidden. Horizon, <laughs> Horizon forbidden. 
That's the only game I Wes, play. The girl is so ugly that I go back. I go, this must be what this whole um, Gamergate was revolving around, right? These girls are too ugly in the cartoons. <laughs> or the girls were too... What was it? it did somebody stop? Because... Yes, I didn't really get invested in this. So you're not this attracted might to Aloy. I'm upset with, if you play this Horizon, what is it called? Horizon. Horizon. <laughs> the girl is so butt ugly. If I want to see somebody that butt ugly, I'll just, and this is like a take that probably a million gamers have already had. I'm confirming this with them. Whoever has his take, this is confirmed, and this is how it should go. They, I don't want to see... Um, some regular regular people are hideous. I, I went to the Weezer. It was all regular people. It was terrible. Bummed me out to look at them. The idea behind TV fantasy stuff on TV. If you could make it happen, you use the hottest girl that you can. Now you're in luck gamer company because you could draw any girl you want. Why wouldn't you draw the best looking thing to eyes you want her to look like a nice warrior no 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 it's a little dyke runt <laughs> jewish fucking runt running it's around with that nasty little rat face i'm telling you these games would be a hundred times bigger <laughs> if they stopped worrying and it, what was it that they got too worried they're gonna nobody would ever be offended by that nobody and if they were just ignore it. You saw what happened with your Hogwarts game that you made so much money off of. I don't know why you would listen to anyone when they said you need to draw the people ugly now. In all these cartoons, you got Spider-Man, two of the ugliest people I've ever seen. People are saying, yes, this is basically... Yeah, and this needs to be said again. This needs to be re-brought up now that I'm really aware of yes, this. Yes, La Waye, a fellow Horizon fan, you know, says you go people to... were mad they made her uglier in the second game. I mean, they should be livid. I, I can't tell you how crookedly wrong that is to do to people and how much of a confusion and a mistake it is to think something like that. You wouldn't... By the way, I've literally been playing that same game for like two years straight. It's hard. How long it it's takes hard to finish one. Well, Jules is so slow with the bow and arrow. No, like I'm not this. slow. Don't they say land that. two I'm inches good at away. it. Okay, she I'm doesn't really know. good. This is There's how you just game. A lot to do. This There's is how much to do. Jules, uh, this is how Jules games. No, don't say what? that. Just That's watch. Just watch. Just watch. This is how you're supposed to game. I do that sometimes. When Jam in every fired. button you can until something does a fatality. <laughs> that's the way you game, and that's how you get it. That's why you've been playing this game for two years because you're going walk. I walk, like to walk, enjoy the scenery. That's X, the main reason I like that game. And then you use every control for every two feet you move. You use every control. <laughs> you look up. You look down. And that's not how a game is to be played. Okay, back to Schultz. The turtles back to Logan, in New York. The turtles go see the turtles movie. But yes, April had huge fucking kids. I couldn't believe it because I don't ever remember her as a big breasted woman. Maybe they toned those down by seasons, the later 90s seasons. Because those were huge. I mean, they were. It was. I like the new April. It was like a fetish. Like it, it was yes. like a breast fetish size. <laughs> okay, um, let's continue from here. Let's see what happens. Severe. I just had to slice that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh, yes, yes. No, the biggest thing happened. Look at Logan pontificating and worried that somebody is going to come shoot him in the head in New York, as Dylan Dana said almost happened until Dana stepped in and prevented it. Because Logan didn't check in with Dylan Dennis when he got to the city, as you're supposed to do in this circle, you know, of MMA. Guy. We check in. You better learn. You know, the Dante Nero. Um, imagination fantasy guys of this world who like to pretend that they're in their favorite mob film. So Logan is sitting there like this and he is worried about this whole idea that somebody is trying to gun him down as everyone's so casually bringing up to him. And while he's doing this and thinking about that, Schultz whips in with one of these breaking the trust of the triangle that he's making. Breaking the triangle. Right in front of Logan's face. Watch this again. I'm more worried about a shooting happening. 
<laughs> you know? I yeah. feel like the gun consequences in New York are pretty serious. They are pretty serious. Whoa. Logan was not you know? happy. I yeah. feel like the gun consequences in New York are pretty serious. Ooh. He's sitting there like a bitch going, well, if he did have a gun, it would be illegal because uh, guns are illegal here. And then Schultz is like, yeah. And Logan is just, I mean, he's patiently holding this in. He's getting furious here. <laughs> you know? I yeah. feel like the gun consequences in New York are pretty serious. They are pretty serious. Yeah, pretty Ooh. <laughs> And, look and at then you look at you waiting reaction. to see what to do next. You, uh, <laughs> Why are you being like this? You don't seem like you're in control of this too much. And he's getting... I, he's really getting visibly upset over this. I don't know how nobody's picking up on this. Fairly severe. I just had to slice that. <laughs> what the fuck was I that? I just had to slice it. He goes in again to remind Logan. Logan just got over the first one. I had just had to go in and slice it. And imagine Schultz's hands, you don't know what he's going to do because he'll touch you anywhere. What if he rips off your hat and messes up your hair? What if he rips your shirt off? He could, and you'd be so embarrassed. So, yeah, now you're on so much ads. Consequences in New York are pretty serious. They are pretty serious. Yeah, it's fairly severe. I just had to slice that. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Why are you yeah. slicing that bro. open, bro? Was, you know, was, was it Illuminati? Oh, was he one of those? He starts throwing up the, the, the oh, bone. I had bro. to slice it Oh, open. and then Logan's like, Illuminati, Illuminati, like trying to play along, but he's shivering, and then <laughs> Schultz slices it again. <laughs> Look at this punk ass Schultz. Bro, was, you know, was it Illuminati? Was oh, he, one of he starts throwing up the, the, yeah. the rock. I had bro, to slice it bro, open. You because, hate the Illuminati. Dude, because Sound of Freedom, bro. <laughs> hate, yeah. Sound of Freedom, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sound of Freedom, bro. bro. There's sex traffic all over the world, bro. Nah, he didn't check in, so you you make sure you check him right uh, now. No, he checked in. Oh, you did? He you? told me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yo, you can check oh. in with daddy, bro. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, if you check oh, in with me, everything's going to be good. Yeah, we Until the motherfucker you didn't check in with. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, all right, listen, listen. Hold on one second. So, is Ooh. there any stress between... Oh, well, he's holding on all right. What's Z the vibes? Zero, zero. Is there any stress between you and Nina? Zero. Well, she's shooting for de-stress, so... I mean... Literally, they, in the paperwork, it says part. emotional distress. Yeah, that's true. Well, you just said, is there any stress? Nope. You could take that as it's not coming between them, I guess. Sure, but, but I mean, I Dylan Danis could also be like, them. listen, I can't be, you know, like a word scientist here. It sounded pretty clear to me. <laughs> exactly. Is there any stress between you and Nina? What's Z the vibes? Zero, zero. Really? Yeah. Come on. Z why? Let me ask you something. Why would there be stress between us? Wow. Andrew. Oh my God. See, we're dealing with two stories at the same time here, folks. Yep. Two at the same time, which does happen a lot, you know, now that I think of it. Logan is being, you know, vulnerable. He's talking about this hard stuff. You know, he hid from this for a month. He finally got the guts to come up with some bull to give his side of this whole Dylan Danis, Nina fight promo stuff. And he's open. He's being vulnerable. And Schultz does this. Ask you something. Why would there be stress between us? Oh, <laughs> look at that. I had to pause. Can we see that? I mean, come Schultz, on. Logan is like being super serious about a lot of shit that's probably really bothering him. I mean, they're filing suits. This yes. Is huge. And Schultz reaches over with all his might and squeezes. <laughs> Logan's giant thigh. I mean, really. And I mean, people are forgetting everybody has been clowning on Logan for almost three weeks yes. now on Twitter. And this is his first appearance yes. discussing this. So he's probably pretty stressed. Yes, right of course. So I mean, imagine he's. You're presenting yourself to And the this couldn't be harder. You're made fun of for three weeks. And you're like, I got to be cool, man. Gotta just be chill. And you're like, body's coursing with adrenaline. And then you have this guy grabbing your funny bone. I mean, really. And it gets worse. Watch. Z why? Let me ask you something. Why would there be stress between us? He sees it. He you know, this is interesting. Why? Let's keep an eye on Schultz. And just how he sees it. Watch this. Why? Let me ask you something. Why would there be stress between he us? He looks and decides. You know, not much else going on. He goes... Look at that leg. <clears throat> and just. <laughs> They're saying only Barack Obama would allow this. Yes, look at that. It's 
what we've learned from today's show. That's a callback from today's show about Obama. So here is Logan, and he's really getting ticked. He's really starting to turn into that thing from Zelda. And they're a fairy in Zelda or something like it looks just like this or something from Zelda yeah, that looks Link, just Link. like this. Link. Of course. Do people call him that? Yeah, Link. Okay, uh, let's see. Andrew is going to twist his leg until it pops. Why? Let me ask you something. Why would there be stress between us? Grab the leg. Andrew. Andrew. That's when I really became clear to me. Listen to what, <laughs> how Logan says Andrew here. Why would there be stress between us? Andrew. Andrew. Like that was the most real thing we heard from Paul. I like to talk like that now about them. <laughs> That's the most real thing we heard from Paul in this whole thing. First names only, please, from now on. Really sick of this sports <laughs> shit that's leaked into the world where we're calling people by their last names. That's a sports guy's thing to do. That's a sports thing to do. Andrew. And then he cleans it up towards the end to make it not sound too whiny. But this was Logan really putting his foot down and saying, this must stop. Let me ask you something. Why would there be stress between us? Andrew. Andrew. And he makes that fist, and that fist was ready to go. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew. Any now, Andrew Schultz, when you watch something like this back, do you find anything wrong with this way of behaving? What is he going really on? If he shaved there? his head fully, he would be so scary. He is so scary already. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens next. Very stress between us. Andrew. Come Andrew! Andrew! Oh, he's on, trying to be bro. serious, dude. Bro. I had to make sure the legs are all again. So worked out. Oh, oh my he's God. He's God. Serious, he goes in again. Look at that. Serious, dude. Bro. I had to make sure the legs are also getting worked out. Wow. I mean, that's a lot of touching. After he's been... I mean, what more can Logan do except get up and walk out? I mean, really, he's done... Seven polite Andrew, Andrew stops. If a guy touched me, you snap after a while. You know, uh, that's girls don't know this, Jules, but if a guy gets tapped that many times, you just snap. There's only so many of that that you could take before you explode. I know this. Uh, good. <laughs> um,. So I'm curious as to how Logan Paul holds this back. This is a... Uh, oh, He's bro, on, bro. serious, dude. Bro. I had to make sure the legs are also getting worked out. Ooh, he's clenching that fist. I mean, this is a really, really holding him in here. <laughs> and at this point, Paul must be thinking, okay, what's going on? Are they like, they all, they is hate me? Tactic? I'm here to be like humiliated. They all hate me. I mean, he must be going nuts. Come on, you know bro. I mean? He's trying to be serious. Sure, don't do that to He's me. trying to dude. pull up his leg. I'll break your feet. Yeah, yeah, don't do that to me. Oh, wait. That, oh my God. When Logan here, we got to see this. Look at what happens afterwards. And then Logan has to look over at these other two just smiling and they could be doing something too. Don't feel bad for Logan here, please. Don't. He doesn't need to go fund me for this. Bro, he's trying to be serious. Sure, don't do that to me. Don't do that to okay. me. Okay. Just, don't break your feet. Yeah, don't do that to me. Okay. Whoa. Did you see that? Look at when he takes a sip. I'll go in more dearly. More dearly, please. <laughs> we'll go right in more dearly. You know bro, what I mean? He's trying to be serious. Sure, don't do that to me. Don't do that to okay. me. Just, yeah, don't. I'll break yeah, your feet. Yeah, 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 don't do that to okay. me. Okay. So I mean, he's not happy there. He's Stressed. thinking. He's thinking now. What's this about? How do I get out of the next one? How do I cool myself down? And it would and be great if three guys are going ro -da -da -ro, ro -da 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 -da, as he's trying to figure this out. It would be great if maybe Schultz was using this as an interview tactic, tactic. to try to loosen mm -hmm. Logan up and get his walls down. But it has nothing to do with that, as we thing can that see. He tries to start saying, as far Schultz as we just tell. interrupts him with screaming. So yeah. getting answers obviously isn't his goal. I mean, he's trying to be serious. Sure, don't do that to me. Don't do that to okay. me. Okay, yeah, I'll break yeah, your feet. Yeah, yeah, don't do that to <laughs> me. Okay, so no stress between you guys. Whoa, the mushroom man. That's Ooh. freaky. That was a shot. Look Ooh. at that, dude. And we doesn't he have here? to shave the bottom part every day? It's rounded. It because goes, it look, follow bald. my mouse. It's hard to see, but follow my mouse. 
This is perfectly rounded in. That's supposed to be the front That's, of another guy, yes. like Vinny from Jersey Shore. That is so creepy to me that this is round. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yep. Oh, wait. I really want to capture the creepiness that I see on my screen here. Ooh, and remember, it's sticking out to here, rounded. <laughs> you see? That's creepy. That shouldn't be rounded. Okay. Guys. <laughs> what, was that, what was that comment? Milton! Ah, he asked me if I'm trisexual. Yeah. <laughs> Milton, you better calm the fuck down, Milton. That's my boxing Get him some tequila, okay? <laughs> no, for real. So no stress at all. I'll tell you why. No stress at all, by uh, the way. Me and Nina are so fucking open with each other. I knew she had long-term relationships her whole life. I knew some of them were very public. Yeah. She's been famous for... Her entire adult life, you know, like 11 years, she's been paparazzi. So none of this surprised me. And wow. I know what kind of person she is. She knows what kind of person I am. And yep. so like, dog, you got to understand, at one point I was the most hated person on the planet. Like I've heard it all. I've seen it all. Mm. I'm so numb to it. I know who I am. I know who my girl is. I know we love each other. Some fucking internet troll posing as a fighter is not going to get in between us. Wow. It has the body. Damn, girl. it's so corny. Ah! But why? Wow, that was really cringe, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Posing as a fighter is not going to get in between us. Mm. But it has the body. Damn, it's so corny. <laughs> That's the energy he had to get out. Yeah, he had to get that energy out or else it's hitting. You either hit or you scream. And he's down on himself because it was so corny. A bunch of around all these cool guys. <laughs> Can't be that corny around these two, especially the long hair and the black guy. They don't, they have no humanity. They don't want to hear anything about love. They laugh at that in a mani maniacal way. You know, they laugh you off of them. Um, so this is interesting. He's basically, you know, uh, saying that it doesn't bother him. What was that last thing I just said? a fighter is not going to get in between us. Mm. But it has the body. Damn, it's so corny. Boss! <laughs> but, but, but for real. That was, I thought that was good. I thought yeah. that was what you did was good just right there. Yeah, <laughs> no, that was it, good. That was good. It was believable. But you called yourself out on it. So now I feel like we have to reflect it. But I was, you were like Vivek Ramaswamy. On the <laughs> so you guys are like debasing him. You guys are like throwing him around like a little bit. You're cucking him now. Yeah. We're all making fun of his cringe. I mean, look, he's like visibly becoming smaller <laughs> in the seat. He's like visibly shrinking. This guy is, you know, now six inches bigger than him. Very weird. And what's your excuse? You're a mean man. I deem you mean. I don't, that's the reading I got from Maybe it. Maybe he just hates Logan. You know, a lot of people need to be uh, called out for just being mean to others. Okay, uh, let's see what happens next. Logan is looking like he's, you know, trying to protect himself here. He's on edge. <laughs> I, yo, Kevin just showed me this guy. He just he showed me the back. Yeah. 945, all right. Skips my time of night. Riffing. What time of night is it here, by the way? Just it locally. It is 9.30. 9.30, my time of night. I knew my time. Look at this. We're at 9.47 here. Wow. And it's 9.30. Very close. You said 9.47? 9.32. 9.32. Oh, the oh, time code is yeah, 9.45. <laughs> Sorry. 9.45. Here we go. 15 minutes away. Like, why? And you, and you don't like me? Oh, forget it. Good jumping on. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. A rat. Do you feel like he's gone too far or do you respect the fight? Let me ask you something. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like he's gone too do far? Do you feel like he's gone too far? Ooh, that's the restraining order coming out. So that's the part. See what he's doing? This tricky little Logan Paul. He wants everybody to think that he's not bothered by it, but he still wants to do the restraining order because, hey, he broke the law. But you're not going to admit to the restraining order, but you do do this one thing here. When he asks you, do you think Dylan went too far? Watch this. Oh, no, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yes, right. Do you feel like he's gone too far or do you respect the fight? Bro? Let me ask you something. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like he's gone too far? That was a practice pre thought out with the team statement. Do you think he's gone too far? Let me ask you something. Do you think he's gone too far? You know, because Logan doesn't want to come across as he's been been bullied and defeated by this stuff, which he clearly has. So he's looking for others to kind of, you know, uh, give permission for a restraining order or a lawsuit like this to be issued. 
for when they do find out, you know, because he, he knew about the restraining order. Just, you can't just file it overnight. So it must have been weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like he's gone too far? If it was my wife, I would be personally offended. I wouldn't enjoy the, the experience, but I'm not a public facing person Even like you fighting. One? You're not a publicly facing person? Yes, you are. Ooh, you think you could kind of see he wants to, a lot of these podcast co-hosts think that they're not public people because they're not the main guy of the show. Okay, hide behind that You're all public. you want. I'm seeing you, so. You're public, bro. You can hide behind. Oh, so he doesn't really have to take, you know. No, no, no. You're just as open as Schultz in my eyes. Personally offended. I wouldn't enjoy the, the experience, but I'm not a public facing person Even like you fighting. One? The Thanksgiving one, I, I would enjoy that. That one would be funny. Are you talking, are you talking the about alien one? one, too. I like that one. I thought it was funny. <laughs> a fur and an alien? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a big inflatable alien. I was like, oh, that's a funny one. That's and a Logan has to sit here and pretend he loves all these. They're like, I like the alien one. I like the turkey I mean, one. This is I like the one right. where she was completely naked. Would you ever let someone talk to, about me like this? No, I mean, I would never. Yeah, I would. Ne well, I would. I would let them. I don't think you would. No, of course not. I mean, you're a great husband. That's what I mean. It's especially if Nina is suffering, and that's like what her a girl wants you to do. Like she can be like, "No, it's cool. I'm fine with it." But you want your husband. Like if you're gonna have a husband, it better be one of the fucking million guys on earth that's gonna stick up for you. And you, you can't point? even stick up to her with this asshole going. I like the one where she's naked with a balloon. <laughs> it's like thanks. Uh, it's nice. Hit him. I like the turkey one, right? And then Logan's like, yeah, they're all funny. Uh -huh. Gold. Nina, did you like this interview? I mean, that's a bitch. Imagine Nina, Nina at home Nina. watching this. Do you feel protected by your new husband? Do you I feel wouldn't. safe within his arms? He goes on there and just laughs about the stuff that has been putting you through hell. Look at Basically, this. Just to like look cool. Fighting. The Thanksgiving one, I, I would enjoy that. That one would be funny. Are you talking, are you talking the about alien one, too. I like that one. I thought it was funny. A an alien? Yeah, yeah, it was like a big inflatable alien. I was like, oh, that's a funny one. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's I like funny. that. I like the alien one. Oh. I mean, what a sellout. How do you sell out your fiance like that? Yeah, yeah the ones that made Nina the cry the most. I like the most. Oh, I give her a year. It's like, jeez. <laughs> I like the, all of them equally. I mean, they met with the governor over this. Just the other day, they were stamping legal documents with the mayor, the governor. <sighs> we must stop Dennis from tormenting Nina career. He's evil. I gotta go do Schultz, baby. <laughs> Actually, I showed her the alien. I, I, said, I said, did you fuck him? Yeah. What'd she, yeah. say? she didn't fuck the alien. Damn. Definitely yeah. not. Come on. Uh, as far as I know. I don't even think aliens got joints. What do you mean? <laughs> like, he ain't in a goofy mood. Joint, like knee or elbow joints? No, like they don't have penises or they don't have... <laughs> yeah. You need to... Your terminology is out of hand, Mr. New York City. Mr. Brooklyn. Mr. Rap Scene Expert. It needs to stop. Man, I bet he got no joint. <laughs> what do you think when these guys... Oh, don't. Her Are you practicing sl slang like this takes a lot of effort to keep up at your age? Just a man with a fiance, you know, you're, you're, or a married man, you're just sitting at home. Uh, how are you keeping up with all this slang if not studying it? Always be suspicious of somebody. You're not in a kid's group of 70 kids. Always be suspicious of somebody who talks so different from what he's supposed to be sounding like. The slang, I mean, really, we should count the slang, start counting the slang of these shows. Because he really goes out of his way to throw some big whoppers and ones that could confuse Logan Paul that have. The alien with the joint. Like knee or elbow joints? No, like they don't have penises or they don't have, <laughs> nah. yeah, they don't have, they don't have. But cop, they bro. enjoy anal, they be probing a lot. Yeah, they, they do anal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh no. <laughs> Yo, you got it. Did you bro, ask about that? That's I mean, crazy. he's acting like uh, Cameron, what's that guy's name from the comedy, uh, the mothership, uh, Cameron, the inmate kid, Cam Patterson. Cam Patterson, you're not an inmate to me. Oh, you look like an inmate. Sorry. I mean, you're wearing like, isn't that like their gym clothes or something? The outfit he wears.
It's like what they wear when they're on break <laughs> at jail. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. I think it looks really low. I mean, you shouldn't. You're like dressing yourself up for them. You're like becoming. What do they call it? A, like Tony is putting on a minstrel show, man. And you're like, let me dress like they think it's funny. Hey, no, no, no. I've got a message for Cam Patterson. Yeah. Is Tony giving you the money from the Cam yes. Patterson merch shirts? Because we're actually, believe it or not, you know, we make these jokes, Cam. We're out for Tony. We you know, you. we're, um, you and know, we want to make sure you're getting paid for your merch. We really want to make sure you because Tony's a slippery idea. guy. We want to make sure you're almost getting all the proceeds of that shirt that he's putting your name on the proceeds for the rocks. He better be paying you. High. I bet he is. Tony and Ethan are tricky like that <laughs> when they don't, they're not good to all their employees. They're only good to the employees. They have to be. Okay, so they they know the strengths and weaknesses of their employees. And a guy like Cam Patterson, yeah, Tony's going to throw a few extra bucks at him to keep him, because how bad would it sound if he doesn't pay the black guy fairly? So I bet he's gone out of his way, but I bet there's a lot of other guys in Tony's life they haven't seen a dime. But Cam Patterson, please keep us updated. We will fight for you for free, and we will make sure you get a lot more money than... He's paying you, okay? All right, let's see what happens here. Is he saying the aliens do do that? Do do that. So, no, but yeah. it had to bother her a little bit because I know you're built for it, but she's not. And the double standard, brother, in, like with brother. men and women. Like, oh. come on. That's the issue, my man. That's what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> that's the Mr. issue, Prince. my man. By the way, my man is just as bad as calling somebody brother. He's not your man, my man. How you've been? Oh, we, he's in the boxing world. Of course, I'm going to say that was a pretty comfortable slap with a black guy for a guy like you, Logan. But of course, double standard, brother. In, like with brother. men and women. Like, come on. That's the issue, my man. That's what I'm saying. I'm Poor, not. innocent bystander, third party, female, who has nothing to do with this fight. So now he's kind of trying to get permission again here. That's the issue, he says. So this is his first time. Everything else has been groovy. This is the first time he goes, that's the issue. I'm going to let someone else say it. I don't have the guts to tell people what the issue is. But if someone else says what the issue is, I'll go, you might be on to something, brother. My man, you are my homie. Poor, innocent, bystander, third party, female. Who has nothing to do with this fight other than being my fiance? Yeah, mm -hmm. never. Well, she, she promoting the hell out of it, bro. You can't do prenup after this. <laughs> she, 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 she making so much money, bro. You it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, no prenup. They kind of go no to circles nothing. for a while after this. So okay. Was there any more? Not really. That was it. I mean, they do say the same shit again a million times. Yeah. <laughs> so there it is. Logan Paul lie into Schultz's face. So yeah, there's a couple things I want to happen. I want Dylan to use this information, of course, if he isn't already, uh, for the defense, you know, of himself to the trial that he's on. And then I want Schultz to know that Logan looked at him in the eye and lied to him, not only to him, but to every one of his viewers. When you stuck your neck out for Logan, you co-signed him, you ignored the crypto zoo scheme because... To you, that's not an issue with a person if they're just scheming people you don't know. It's not an issue for you. That's the game. Right? You've probably done little shady moves like that. You think business is so funny, right? But I want you to know Logan Paul lied to your face. So you seem like a man who he doesn't want to just be lied to like a bitch, right? What else is Logan lying to you about, Andrew? Will you ever face this, or will you drink it away with his scotch? It's classy. You know, you've got this classy guy here. You're very classy. I believe that. I don't believe the long-haired guy is classy. Thank you for allowing me to show you my uh, presentation on that there. I hope you believe me. That's at the end of all these segments. I, I wish we had a... So do you believe me? Let I believe know. you. Let us know in the comments if you believe me on each segment.